one of the largest container ships in the world, Evergreen, under the Panamanian flag, sailed from Asia to Europe. There were about 18,000 containers on board the cargo ship, with various goods. On the morning of the 23rd of March, the ship as part of the caravan passed the Suez Canal. At some point, Evergreen, I turned my nose around and hit one back, and the feed is in the other completely blocking traffic in both directions. The length of the container ship, 400 meters, and the width of the water at the accident site is about 300. After the inspection, it became clear that the ship was thoroughly stuck in the ground. The first excavator to arrive at the excavation site immediately became a meme in social networks. In the photo, he looked like this. It's as if he's trying to save the world economy alone. Later, of course, much more equipment arrived at the scene of the accident. A whole flotilla of tugs was also involved, but in vain. Meanwhile, more than 400 vessels had accumulated on both sides of the canal. Analysts calculated the damage, according to the company's estimates. Lloyd's List, blocking the channel cost world trade about $10 billion daily, based on the calculation of the cost of stuck cargo. But that's not all. There was a failure in the supply chain of goods to different countries. They were trapped in traffic and tankers with a multi-million barrels of oil. Because of this, the price of oil has risen by 6%. It is no accident that the traffic jam was called the most expensive in the world. Some of the merchant ships turned around and sailed around the African continent. Just like in the old days, the decision was not easy. Wait for the problems to be fixed, or spend another week on another way with fuel overspending. Days passed, and the problem remained unresolved. Evergreen, we wanted to partially unload in order to reduce the drawdown, but there were no cranes for this. Then we decided to drain the fuel and water ballast, and in the area of the bow, the bottom was deepened. On the sixth day of the incident, nature itself helped the rescuers. A strong tide lifted the container ship, and powerful tugs brought the nose to the depth. Evergreen was released after almost a week of downtime. Shipping in the Suez Canal resumed in the same format. Immediately after the rescue operation is completed, container ship, Evergreen, cargo, and the crew were detained during the proceedings. According to the first report of the Suez Canal administration, the ship ran aground due to strong winds. Then the captain's mistake was considered as one of the versions. However, it is important to clarify here. The rules prescribe any ship. When passing the Suez Canal, take on board a team of Egyptians, led by a pilot, who will give recommendations on how to navigate the ship. Only in case of an accident, the pilot is not responsible. It turns out a situation in which wiring services are imposed. And in case of an accident, the captain is to blame. Reporters of the publication, Bloomberg, were present at the court hearing on this case, and we found out interesting details of the incident. Two Egyptian pilots arrived on the ship, and they gave their permission to enter the channel. After a few kilometers of movement along the channel, visibility began to deteriorate, and for the sandstorm, wind gusts reached 23 meters per second. The nose of the container ship began to lit spontaneously from left to right and back. At this point according to the provided, in court, the recordings of the sound recorder. The first pilot commanded to turn the rudder and increase the speed. The second pilot was arguing with him. When the captain intervened in the disagreement, it was already too late. Evergreen crashed into the shore. The convex bow under the water is like a dagger stuck deep into the rocks and sand. The stern hit the opposite bank. There was nothing like this in the history of the Suez Canal. The ship stood diagonally, completely blocking the movement. The administration of the Suez Canal called the culprit and the captain of the ship, and myself as the injured party, and demanded compensation of a billion dollars. Ship owner and insurers, they considered the amount unreasonably high. As a result of lengthy negotiations, the parties stopped at about $550 million. Compensation, with the condition of paying $200 million at once. After almost a hundred days of detention, the ship was released. The container ship went to Europe for unloading, and then for a technical check. Soon Evergreen passed the Suez Canal again, this time without incident. The Evergreen incident highlighted how fragile the global supply chain can be. Significant damage has been done to companies around the world. Modern cargo transportation is based on the expectation of it, that the goods will arrive at exactly the right time. Earlier for unloading and filling a container ship could take a week or more. Today the same thing is done in a few hours. Thanks to automatic cranes and a complex scheduling algorithm, this is an efficient model that saves on storage and inventory. 
but very fragile. One problem in the supply chain is enough to make everything stop. The prolonged closure of the Suez Canal has resulted in a cascade of delays. A ship that did not arrive at the port according to the schedule not just created a problem for those who are waiting for their cargo. It also means the accumulation of all the containers that the ship was supposed to pick up. Exports over the past decades, the size of the ships has grown significantly. Such a gigantomania is associated with the desire of ship owners to save money, that is, to transfer as much cargo as possible in one voyage. As shown by the incident with Evergreen, huge vessels have surpassed the capabilities of the maritime infrastructure. The Suez Canal is used daily by dozens of ships that travel from Europe to Asia and the reverse. Oh, without making a long voyage around Africa. The channel brings Egypt about $5 billion annually. Obviously, additional security measures are needed in relation to giant ships. Unless the Suez Canal is deepened and expanded, the probability of blocking the entire path will remain. And who knows, maybe, next time there will be much more losses.